we are back working on the 400 uh if you saw the last video where we went to red oak in virginia you will see that we got about 20 minutes in and my 400 turned off and couldn't get the start back up uh so let's flip the switch make sure our kill switch is not on kill and let's see if we can verify the no spark condition all right so we have no spark whatsoever but i'm probably going to go with a use oem stator uh a new cdi box is like 60 dollars, so i'll probably get a new honda oem cdi box and then i can only imagine that the coil is probably an aftermarket coil as well uh, so I'll probably just get a used OEM coal or a new OEM coal, coal depending on how much it is. All right, guys and girls, we are back. We're going to 400. It's about a week, maybe a week and a half later. I've picked up a used OEM coal and I cleaned it up. It wasn't as clean when I got it. I picked up a used OEM rectifier. And then I've also picked up a used OEM stator as well. Now, I bought all these units off of eBay. They are listed to came off of running machines at the part of disassembly. Uh, these came from three different sellers. Since I'm going to get rid of the Chinese parts anyway, I'm going to go ahead and replace the Chinese rectifier and I'll just keep it as a backup and then I will go ahead and replace the coal as well and if nothing changes between both of those being replaced that means those both are fine and I will just keep those two as backups. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is very, very, very weak. So let me play the CDI, I mean the rectifier, and let's see if it had the same weak spark. Used OEM rectifier is on, so let's see if we still have the same weak spark, which I'm sure that we do. still has very 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 weak spark so I don't of course I didn't think the rectifier was gonna be the problem but now let's replace uh, the cool the old China cool is off the used OEM cool is on I'm not expecting this to make a difference but let's see It's definitely more consistent than what it was but I don't know if it's enough for it to start so let's plug it up and let's see if it starts all right shit we ain't got nothing to lose to see if it starts so I got the gas on. Let's see if it starts. So I guess turn the key back on. Ho 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 ho! Man, wait a minute. So the issue was the coal.
I will take that all day long. Like I said, I didn't want to have to replace the stator if I didn't absolutely have to, but I could definitely see a more consistent spark once I replaced the, the coil. I definitely saw a more consistent spark. And I guess that also would make sense because every time that we would ride through the mud or through any water, as soon as water started splashing in the front, I would lose spark. And when I would wash it off, I would lose spark. And I'm thinking now that this was the problem because since it's mounted right here, every time it would get wet, I would lose spark. So, I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep the stator. Since it is an OEM stator, I'm going to keep it. But this Chinese coal just was the issue and the grounding points and everything was clean and fine on it but like i don't know if this case has a crack in it or it has some water ingress or if it's the boot has an issue or something maybe that was the problem maybe this boot was the issue either way it go chinese parts man i don't like them so now this bad girl, well, I guess she's not a bad girl. Now this bad boy, because I mean it's Barry, is back up and running. That's going to be the conclusion of this video. So if you have Chinese parts in your ignition system, and if you're having issues, start with the Chinese parts. I'd rather have OEM 20-year-old parts than have brand new Chinese parts because this is this is kind of what happens with those Chinese parts you know the OEM parts will last 20 30 and in the case of my 40 year old three-wheeler 41 year old three-wheeler they last 40 years these Chinese parts man they just they're cheap and they're cheap for a reason so like you know if you're looking to get something up to sell it which is what I'm thinking. That's what they did. They probably went on Amazon, spent seventy dollars. They got the cool, the stator, and the rectifier for seventy dollars versus paying probably four hundred for OEM parts. They want to get it up and running to get it sold. Okay, whatever. All right, you kind of shit the the buyer. You know, in the next six months or whatever the case may be, when they shit don't run, they gotta figure out the issue. But if it's something you're gonna keep. Invest in OEM parts. That's my motto. I try to keep the Chinese shit off if I can help it. So, like everything you do, think, build, troubleshoot, enjoy. Peace.